I'm telling you, people, I never would have gotten uh, much action <laughs> growing up. I don't think I would have done very well with the lady folk. Because one of the things that I pride myself on was the ability to let someone of the opposite sex know how I felt about them. Right? I took great pride being able to articulate what it felt like inside the first time I saw that person. Right? I wanted them to understand what all of that meant. I, I, I don't see that happening anymore. Is it me? Maybe I'm crazy. I just don't see it going down that way. Isn't it like this now? Chick-chick, right? Click. And then you go over and you, you know, put a filter on there and then you, you get one of those little uh, thought bubbles. Right? Oh, I remember her first text message like it was yesterday. Oh, it touched my soul. I remember the meme that she used when she first found me a big press going on right now to crap all over women, the ones that are born that way. And I'll be really honest with you, I dig them. Always been a very, very big fan of women. You know, the concept of calling them birthers, bleeders, menstruators, or any such stuff makes me want to punch somebody in the face and maybe crush a couple of lyrics. I'm going to do what I can to get along with the people who disagree with me. I really am. I'm gonna make a college effort to do that. And, and when I'm outside of, um, of my porch, I will really go out of my way to be a very, very good person. You understand? When I'm not here, I'm gonna go out of my way to be the best person I can, especially if I'm on your porch. But I got news for you, you're on my boat. I have said many, many times, you know, you gave me the best seat in the house. You know, because I'm just a member on this boat. But make no freaking mistake, I wear that the captain's hat. That has definitely been known to happen. I'm not the brightest bulb.